One look at the news and it's easy to find a million different ways that the world could end tomorrow. So it makes sense that the richest people on earth are spending big money in order to be prepared for every possible apocalypse. Welcome to Technology. I'm Alex Malky, and today we're looking at the five most advanced doomsday bunkers in the world. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode of Technology. When the world starts eating itself alive, you'd be lucky enough to find yourself in any bunker, let alone this one. This is the Opidium and it is the largest private apocalypse shelter in the world. Located in an isolated valley in the Czech Republic and surrounded by nothing but nature for miles, it's 323,000 square feet of protection hidden below a luxurious estate, far away from heavily populated city centers. A biometric reader scans face, eyes, palms, and fingerprints simultaneously. It's the only way to open the blast doors. Inside are a spa, swimming pool, movie theater, library, and an underground garden. A telecommunication network links the bunker to a network of low Earth orbit satellites to keep in communication with a team of security experts in any event, all surrounded by massive, impenetrable concrete walls. Now this is how you want to wait out the apocalypse. It's hard to top an underground mansion, but one company is digging even further with a literal skyscraper below the Earth. Modestly named the survival condo, this is 15 stories of living space deep below the surface of the Earth. The entire structure is protected by walls nine feet thick, protecting a treasure trove of ways to wait out the end times. There's a pool, a rock climbing wall, a home theater, and a spa. Each room has a flat screen TV simulating windows. The survival condo is built to sustain 75 people for just about ever, packing 10 years worth of freeze dried food then, there's a hydroponic garden with 70 kinds of fruits and vegetables and a fish farm, which starts to make sense considering the price of an entry model is $1.5 million. 15 stories of safety is great and all, but if it's in the middle of nowhere and hard to get to, it's kind of impractical in tense situations. This is one of those times where it pays to hide in plain sight. From street level, you'd think you were looking at the most unassuming two-story house in Las Vegas, but you'd be wrong because below this Cold War era home is 15,000 square feet of apocalyptic safety. It was built from scratch by a man named Jerry Henderson in 1979. Five bedrooms, six bathrooms, a dance floor, a pool, a four hole putting green, and a bar. This is survival living at its finest. Jerry's bunker was such a unique build that it inspired the 1993 movie Blast from the Past with Brendan Fraser showing us just what it might be like to grow up living in an underground vault until the age of 30. Okay, but say you wanna buy a bunker today, right now, where would you even look? Well, it turns out you can find listings for abandoned missile silos in Nebraska. Located at the very aptly named 1200 Silo Lane, once you step foot below, you're greeted to every accommodation you would need to wait out a global catastrophe. You're looking at a one bed, one bath loft, 174 feet below the surface. You've got a microwave, a toilet, and a fridge set up and ready to go. Sure, it's not as flashy as the others on this list, but at a modest $550,000, it's the most affordable of the bunkers. Each of these bunkers have been impressive in their own rights, but none of them come even close to the king of post-apocalyptic living. The Vivos Europa 1. A 250,000 square foot Soviet era built complex is being transformed into the most luxurious survival mansion in Germany. Capable of sheltering up to a thousand people, the Europa 1 will have all the essential amenities present in the other shelters on our list, and so much more, including a small zoo with animals to repopulate the earth, a storage space for cultural treasures, and a gene bank for rebuilding plant life after an extinction level event. If there's one building that's likely to keep the world chugging along after the big one hits, it's Europa 1. From a bunker beneath the suburbs that imitates the world above, to an underground skyscraper with room to breathe, and even a warehouse-sized Noah's Ark that might kickstart the earth after a global catastrophe, these safe rooms are how the ultra-rich hope to survive the apocalypse. Which would you rather wait it out in? Let us know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the future.